Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, earlier in the morning, the residents of Higa County said that they will not be available to welcome William Samaruto to Higa County because already they had gone through the program of that day and it was very clear that there's no new project that Ruto was coming to launch in the Western region apart from the project that were already launched, some were already completed and some were on their conclusion way. And above all, most of the, those projects that Ruto was coming to launch, they were county government projects. Like in Ruto Akuskia, so Ruto, after the cabinet meeting that took place at Kakamega State Lodge, he proceeded with his uh, work tour. Is it work tour release really? campaign eh? to Vihiga County? <laughs> and after doing so, Ruto had an aim of launching several projects. So in his visit to Vihiga County, among the projects that he had to launch, one was in Sabatia constituency. The home constituency of Salim David, where he used to be a member of parliament. So Ruto proceeded to Sabatia and uh, his aim was to go and launch a 20 kilometer Mago Mululu Wagulu Lusui Wokoli Road. In the end, I was going to go to the main road. And uh, when Ruto landed in Mago, that is about your concerns to launch the road. To the surprise, what people said in the morning came to happen. The people who came out to receive William Samuel Ruto was just a few people who gathered to come and watch what Ruto was doing in Sabatia Constituency. And I want to watch this video shortly to see exactly the turnout. To tell you if indeed if Ruto had come to do such a huge project like the way they would want to put it. I have no issue with them criticizing and correcting and doing their oversight responsibility. But we have every problem with violence. It cannot be violence. Violence cannot continue to have currency in the politics of Kenya. You cannot destroy people's property, people's businesses, destroy public property, burn roads, burn public infrastructure. That is unacceptable. That is undemocratic. That is unpatriotic. That is unconstitutional. That's against the rule of law. And you cannot continue to do that in Kenya and expect us to respect you. Amano Magani Jamen. Siawa watu wakome. Wakome wasikome. Wakome kabisa. Tuwakomeshe. Wangabu wanasama tuwakomeshe. Namna hiyo. Sabati ya hoi. Mumba kila musara ki. Mumba kila musara ki. Chamu kisi chariga. Chandangu chariga. Asante sama. Sasa. Mweshime rais. Mweshime rikiji. Deputy President, sisi tunasema tumefurai sana, mumekuja kututembelea, mumekaa hapa wiki nzima, mukizindua miradi mbali mbali katika eneo ya magaribi. Sisi tunasema kwamba sasa watu watu wajue kwamba hatu kufanya makosa. Sinamna hiyo? Simulisema mnataka mungiesu kwa serekani? Mimi nikashikana na ndugu yangu, Moses Masika Wetangula. Tuka tazama pahali president yuko Tuka sema tuingie pale Na tuka buwaga hawa jamaa Sindio? Sasa wakati tulifanya hivo Siku ya earthquake Jamaa wakazima Ile pesa ingekuja kutengeneza barabara hii Wakato Now this is what Mdabadi Said During the visit to Sabatia that is Marco This is what he's saying here Thrilled to mark a significant milestone with the launch of Mago Lusui Road in Vihiga County. This project is particularly close 
to my heart as it directly leads to my hometown and the residence. Over years, the negligence this road has faced has been disheartening. But today, we are taking a giant leap toward progress. The progress, the progress, the proposed road holds the promise of transforming not only the physical landscape but also the lives of the people in Sabatia constituency, which I am proud to call home. Honor to stand alongside esteemed leaders, including Ruto, the Shagwa, Wetangula. Our shared vision of growth and prosperity for the Vihiga County is an wavering with the presence of Vihiga Governor Wycliffe, sorry, Wilba Otichiro, Cabinet Minister for Roads and Transport, Onesimus Kipchumba, Murukumen, Sabat Elvis lawyer, it goes like that, like that. But now, you might think that this is just a new project that Ruto took to Mudava hey, this village. No, it's not so. This issue was started all the way in November 2021 when Ruto, when Uhuru went for the burial service of Musalia Mudavadi's mother, Mamahana Mudavadi. Some good money, close to one point something eh, uh, billion, was released to construct the road. The tender was awarded to MBIG Limited. Governor Tichiru met the relevant office and in fact, this is what Otichiro said, let me just take you to that post. This post was done in 2021. I want to just read, to read the part that is touching on eh, the project that Ruto helped to launch in Mago. That is about your constituency. Mago Mululu Elusui Road, which was pro pronounced by His Excellency, the President, during Mamahana's burial, is ready for groundbreaking. The, con the, contractor, the contract has been awarded to MBIG LTD at a cost of Kenyan shillings, 1,047,121,469.52. That is Kenyan shillings. So when you see Ruto in Mango or in Sabatia purporting to launch a new project, even the money was released. We have been seeing the tractors digging that road every time, but we have not seen uh, the road being tarmacked up to now. But I can tell you the journey started in 2021. But above all, eh, the reason why people refuse to welcome Ruto or attend his event in Sabatia. One of the reasons is just what I have read here. The project was not new. And in fact, from the time it started, now, Matinga Tinga Zimekoz Kilima Barabara Kilasa. Sasa Barabara Imekua ni Matope Tupu. Ata ni Heli Bide Nikuwa Mbeleni. So I'm saying Kilasa ni Kulima without serious progress. Just a 20 km road, Ruto came to, 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 to Sabana to tell people that it is going to take one year to finish a 20 km road. Is he serious? <laughs> Remember, they are not starting today. Mambo ya kulima yo barabara ilianza kitambo wa mwanga mara every time. Contractor ako, unless kama wana, taka kutuwa yo contractor, wanzo kweka wawo upia, wafanya proper tendering, tena wanzo kukula upia. So, the results of Ruto's failure to pull a crowd on a project they purported to launch like a new one, the way Mudavad is putting it is because people will not believe anything from Ruto until they see a tarmac road. People have learned Ruto's behavior and a way of speaking. You can't take his word serious. His word cannot be his bond. It can't. Ruto's statement have been reduced to a normal political statement. Just mere political statement. Because of that, Vihiga residents were not happy and the people in Sabatia, where Mudavad is coming from. Yani unajua kikuja Vihiga, watu wengine wote inafaa wakatai hizi mkutano za ruto, lakini watu wa Sabatia, 
kule kwenye prime camera center yanatoka inafaa at least wasimame na yeye yeah. but it was a big no turnout was low and that is a serious message to this government people have lacked trust in your administration that's why you can come to sabatia where you need to pull numbers but people end up not showing up in your event so walichukulia mchezo wakati watu walisema in the morning that there is nothing new walikuwa wameona program wakajua hapa tunakuja kudanganywa so with all this hakuna kitu mpya walikuwa wanakuja kuona so people were busy doing their own business and they did not have time to come and listen to a man who want to lie giving what air promises and relaunching of existing project remember Ruto was in Sabatia in fact in Ikwadu Baro ni Sabatia where he was launching a, a, a drinking water tap in Kwapa Kaimos kuja ka launch again hapa Sabatia So they were all aware what he had come either to do. It was not new project. And uh, because of the treatment Ruto gave them by lying to them and then coming to launch existing project, people knew that he's coming to do the same thing. When I say manyoka aksha kuuma, ukiona gamba la nyoka wewe toroka tu. So what was said to Ruto ni muongo. Kwa mimi nilikuja mara ya kwanza akakuja na uongo. Wamejua amerudi pia kuleta uongo mwingine. That's why they did not show up. It was embarrassing for Ruto to come in Sabatia and then miss people. And the way they had hyped this thing that they are coming like they are just coming to do it and it's going to happen now and now. But that is what happened on the ground.